Hey cute people, it is Sunday afternoon and I wanted to experiment and play in some makeup because if you watched the last video I've done of myself applying makeup, I explained that I wanted to try something different as far as how I apply the makeup and in that video I explained why I do some of the things that I do. So hopefully you were able to watch it. If not, after you watch this one, go over and check that one out. I'm going to leave it here in the cards. So that you can take a look at it. And that was like a really simple, oh so simple makeup look. I think in the thumbnail, it probably looked as if I didn't even have on makeup, that much makeup, some makeup, I don't know. It is Sunday, you know Sunday is a relaxing day and I'm definitely doing that. As you know, and I said before, I don't have any eyebrows. So I'm going to do a little something with them. Um... Maybe I'll do a little bit more than I did the last time. Now, most of the products that I'm using, I've used in the last makeup video. So, I won't list the complete... Um, listing of the makeup that I'm using but anything that's different from that last video I will include in the description box below so that you can see what it is I'm using because I want this video to be very very quick so this is what I'm using here And these are my brows in a nutshell. Sometimes I do go over my brows with this product here from NYX. I used it in the last video. So I'm just going to run through it a little bit because to me this gives me more like hair is coming from my brow <laughs> when it's not. Now before what I used to do, I used to prime my face before I did anything. But this time I wanted to do my brows first because I noticed that um, sometimes when I put the primer on, depending on what type it is, well, most really, the brows don't come on, especially the tail looks a little bit lighter. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Um, primer here. And I didn't use it in the last video, so I will list it below because as you can see, if you can see, it does have a little color to it. And I'm just going to place it on my face. I can't say that um, it highlights or does anything special, but I had it, so I don't dislike it, so I'm going to go ahead and just use it and rub it into my face. Everywhere, especially under my eyes, and not all the way up to my eyes, but especially here where I would highlight. And it's not a bad primer. I don't really see any difference in my makeup, even though I don't know if you can see, but it does give a little tint to my skin. Can you tell? I don't know. I can see it. it makes me look a little golden, golden, golden. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to use is this. Um, yes, I use my handy dandy magnifying glass. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I have the color 765 Tawny and this is supposed to be a full coverage makeup and it's lightweight. I don't wear it often that's why I figured I'll just go ahead and play with it today. I put two pumps on my hand and this is what the color looks like. So I'm just gonna knock it into my face. And I'm going to knock it in with my Sonia Kashuk brush here. I keep, you know, the last video I did, I kept calling it a brush, but the sponge. Because, um, I like it. 
Yeah, but like I said, I keep calling it a brushy. Did y'all correct me? Did you even notice that I was doing that? Mm, I don't know. Now this is so different from what I usually do. I don't usually apply makeup this way, but like I told you in the previous video, I just wanted to start doing something a little different. And this is a start here. I'm not sure how many times I wore this and it may be because I didn't like the color on me, maybe. And I'm gonna Now, what I wish I had done, I'm going to have to get used to doing makeup a different way. I wish I had um, cleaned up my brows first and then put on the foundation. But, I don't know. This is not a color that I like for myself. Let me know. How you guys feel. When I tried it on, like I said, I hadn't worn it in a long while. And I can't remember why I stopped wearing it. But before I put it on, I did test it out. It didn't look too bad. But I didn't put it all over my face like I am now. So, ugh, that may be the reason why it didn't look so bad. Okay, party people, so this is what my eyebrows come to look like. So much different from the last video, the last two. I can tell you, they always come out so different because I don't like doing brows. But then I'm going to run through my brows with this um, Easy Breezy Brow. It's just a clear gel. Um, like I mentioned, I don't have a lot of hair, but the little that I do have, I like for it to kind of stand up, y'all. Let it stand up a little bit here. And to me, it makes it look a little natural for me. And usually, I would have done this before I cleaned up my brow. But today's just do it however you want to do it today and your day. That's what today is. I'm just doing whatever I want. However I want. Yep. And there's my brow. Listen, let me let me tell you now. Okay, so I am going to now do quite a few things. The one thing I am going to do, I'm going to use this NYX Eyeshadow Base. And they have more than one, but this one is white. Yeah, so I'm going to use this here because I want the eyeshadow that I'm using to pop a little bit. A little tiny bit than it normally would. So then I'm just gonna use, so I'll use this little brush. This is what I used to use, so I couldn't find it. This is a wet and wild brush. So I'm just gonna place it on my eye, like so. Place it on the other. It's really creamy. I usually use this sponge to um, blend out powder and other things that I place on my and concealer on my eye. So I'm going to use it this time to just. And I just want the white base on my lid, pretty much. I don't want it anyplace else. Now I'm using this palette here because I've never used it. Never put a brush in it. And this is another Too Faced. This is a peanut butter and jelly. Still in the box. I take it out and I look at it. I'm like, mmm. I take it out and I look at it. I'm like, mmm. But here is the palette. This is what it looks like. Somewhat similar to the last one I used. And here it is. It has a little guy here's the colors it's really pretty so i don't know how black girl friendly it is but we's about to find out now what i'm gonna do here because my eyes are oily so 
I normally would use a mattifying powder, the one um, that I usually use from e.l.f., but I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to use the white, and it is pretty much white, yeah. I'm going to use the white, and I'm going to place that on my eye lid. This is an Urban Decay brush that I got with some set. So I'm just going to place this on my eye, kind of this set that base. Then I'm going to go back with the little sponge here and just blend it out. Make sure it's not spotty. It up a little bit so then it comes to look something like this now like I said I've never used this palette before and really wasn't sure what I wanted to do there's quite a few pretty colors in here I don't know if you can see but I think they are pretty colors so what I'm gonna do is something simple there's a um, shade here that I can definitely use for a transition for myself and it's peanut butter and I can do a little something with nuts about you. So this one here is peanut butter. And that's nuts about you. So I'm going to take peanut butter and put it in my crease. Ooh, really? There's a lot of fallout. But you'll see. I should say I'm using it as a transition, so I'm putting it above my crease. That's what I should have said. And it still smells good. I don't know how long I've had it. I've had this palette for quite some time. The smell isn't as strong as it used to be, but it still smells good. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. And then I am going to take that same brush. And this is a brush by Sephora. And then I'm going to... Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. But I'm going to take Nuts About You and see what it looks like if I put that in my crease. Let's see what that looks like. Well, just below the color I just used and put it in my crease area here. Mm. I'm going to take this brush I have here by Morphe. And I am going to place jelly on my lid. This is jelly. Can you see jelly? I'm going to place jelly on my lid. It's really pretty. I think it'll look great for this Sunday afternoon. I may need to put some more of that. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, it does show up. I, should, I was thinking about putting some more of that... Um, on my lid but I'm gonna keep it moving because it shows up I can see it can y'all see it I think you can I can't tell if you can or not but I hope you do because it's really pretty I'm gonna go back into the nuts about you and just blend it out a little bit and I want to stay right above choose um spread the love which is this color here if you can see it it's like a pe it's peachy let me see if i can get it to look pe as peachy as it is it's a peach color but i'm going to use a brush here and i'm just gonna 
place that in my highlight. I'm going to use it as a highlight. Then I'll take that blending brush I mentioned to you before and go back into peanut butter. And then just blend that out here. Turn that bell. Jamming in my crease, this coat. It has a little um, sparkle to it. This palette has a lot of fallout. It's cute. Give me a, a light wash of color on my face, which is cool. I'm cool. Okay. I can get with that. All right. And I just want to tap in a little bit more of the jelly onto my lid. I don't think I lost much, but I do want to put some back. I'm using the Avon little nub I have here. I was going to pull out the other one that I had, but I figured let me just finish using this one here. I'm just going to line my eye. Hopefully I can get it to be straight as possible. See, I told you, I don't know why that is. Why that can I, I cannot draw a, straw, draw a straight line anymore. And I'm getting makeup on. Am I the only person over 50 who finds putting on makeup a challenge these days? Like, certain things used to be so easy to do. But you can't do it. Okay, I got that in, and then I used the little smudge brush that I have from Wet n Wild, and I just smudged the line to make it look a little neater, because I told you I can't seem to draw a straight line these days. And then a good thing, too, with the black, I can smudge it out towards my outer corner. Party people, cute party people. So I finished my eyes, I think as much as I need to do right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of these bags under my eyes. You see them, I see them every day. So I'm just gonna do something to get rid of them. And what I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I believe this is called Orange, but I use it all the time. Gotta get rid of those. And then I'm going to take this sponge here. This is a real technique sponge. Today I'm on it. Everything's a sponge, not a brush. And then I'm just gonna blend everything out here. Bring it over. Blend my mouth a little bit. You know, I never really look to see, and I'm not really into, I don't know. I think the foundation covered up my blemishes enough, but if not, I'll go back and check. Because to be honest, I can't really see. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that, because you're gonna say, if you can't see, why you call high makeup? Why not? I don't know, I just can't see. And I have this mirror here, which is helping me a great deal, but. So now I blended out the concealer. 
And then I'm going to go back to this concealer here, which I believe this is Fawn. And I'm going to use it to conceal under my eyes. It's the LA Girl. And I don't want to do too much, but I need to do enough. Just a little bit up here. I don't need really a lot because I have a long oval face. So why do I need to bring any light to my and areas here? Okay. Now I'm going to use, am I going to use the same brush? Where is it? I don't see it. I'm going to use the same brush that I was using. This is a Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to blend out that foundation on my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, cute people. So I blended out the concealer. Forget everything these days. What's going on with me? I blended out the concealer and now I'm going to go in with the HD Set and Forget by Ruby Kisses. This used to be really popular, but it's not anymore. But I still use mine because I have it and I can't see myself buying too many more powders, even though I think I have. Did I? I'm not sure. But I'm going to go in with this particular powder here. I have a brush that I'm trying to find. Let's see if I can. I don't even know what brush I used the last time. Oh, there it is. I'm going to use, this is a Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to place a little bit, not an awful lot, where I put the highlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little bit. Try to get under the corners there, the cracks and wrinkles of my eye. Another old one, but a good one. And it's going to be Max Blunt. This is a brush that I got from Amazon and it's by BS Mall. So I'm just going to use this to contour the cheeks here. Do I have the right color? Yeah, I do. This is blunt. I don't know. It seemed like it used to come off a little bit more for me. But why does it seem like this time here it's not? Okay, I'm going to do something with my jawline here because it needs to be tightened up. And I'm going to a little bit down my neck here because I want to look youthful. You know, not like an old lady with makeup on. But I am an older lady and I'm wearing makeup, so 
it's cool it's cool then i'm gonna take some and bop bop here Then I'm going to a little bit right here. Yeah, I can't tell my nose. I sure do. And then I'm going to use this. It's a concealer brush from Sephora. The one thing about my nose that I would say, I don't know if you can see it, but I have two bones here. I think we all do, but mine's are so pronounced and I can't. Oh, I just don't like how that looks on me. It looks weird. Then I'm just gonna take it on down here. Run you up a little bit here. If I had money, would I remove them? Heck to the yeah. So now what I'm going to do is use this highlighter which i don't usually use but it's by wet and wild and um this is what it looks like let me show you the color okay this is what it looks like so i'm gonna use this and try to highlight and bring some shine to my face i have one that i always use from wet and wild but like i said i want to try something different i don't use this one that often and it's like a pinky peach color so i'm not gonna use an awful lot just a little bit okay there you go and just a little bit here my cheek is there and a little bit on my chin just a little bit and a little bit here and I'm gonna take it up a little okay and just a little bit on my forehead here okay so now where am I and what they want to do? I have a blush. Oh, yeah. You know what else blush I want to use? A MAC brush that I have blush that I hadn't used in a long time. I think I want to use, I think this one is Sweet as Cocoa. Yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to take my Real Techniques blush brush. And y'all should know, I don't usually put on a lot of, a lot of blush, but I want a lot because it'll show up and look really nice today. And I'm going to go back into this um, peanut butter palette here because I want to use this color, which is rich and creamy, which is called rich and creamy. I'm going to put that in my tear duct at my tear duct I'm gonna use this no I can't use that I have this little brush here I don't even know what type of brush it is but it's from real techniques you see it's really small so for me this is perfect because I know me That's good. I don't even mind a little bit here. All right, I can get with that. Oh, this is pretty. I like it. Oh. Now, one thing about my eyes, 
It is not the same because Your eyes are different, mine are. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take this and put it under my eye. I think I just want one color. I don't want to put more than one under. So yeah. Yeah, you my stomach growling. Jamming underneath. I gotta do jamming. Okay. Yeah, I gotta put jamming underneath my eye. I gotta do that. Okay, so this is what it comes out to look like. I just put some of that um, jamming underneath my eye. And now what I'm going to do is go back and use the handy dandy eyeliner that I usually apply on the bottom of my lashes. So I think I'm going to just use this brush. This is another brush. I think this is an e.l.f. brush, I think. And I'm just going to... This stuff is so creamy. But I know I need to be careful with it because I don't want this on my waterline here. And I just want a little bit. And then what I'm going to use next. Oh, wait. Something else I want to do. Okay, this I don't usually do, but I'm going to do because I haven't done this in a long time. I'm going to use these two things together because I want to put some lashes on. Yes, honey, because I told you guys that I like lashes, right? I did tell you guys that, but I didn't want to wear anything other than something that was natural. Um, these are not natural, but I'm putting them on for today anyway and have some fun. Why not have some fun? Okay, cute people, so I got these lashes on, and um, they are really, like, getting on my nerves. They're not bad, but I think it's this lash glue from Dollar Tree that I picked up. I don't think it's the best type of glue for me, but it's okay for the moment. Now, one thing I'm going to do um, is line my lips here. And like I said, this glue, I don't know. Let me see, who makes, who makes this glue? LA Colors. It's not bad, but I don't know if I would continue to buy it. The thing that I purchased, there were two in the set, so I'll probably end up using both of them. So I'm just going to line my lips with this um, Nika K Pencil in Deep Purple. I can, I can say I like the lashes, though, but I think I have to get another glue not that it's bad so this is the lip liner on my lips and I'm going to use this NYX because I love matte lipsticks and you know that and this is NYX and I'll Leave the color down below because I probably can't see it. It'll probably take me forever. But this is the color. And I've never even worn it before. So this is the first time. And it's perfect with the lip liner. Use this real techniques. I think this is the lip brush. I'm just gonna dab some of the highlight here from Wet n Wild into my 
onto my bottom lip. Just a little bit in there. Yep, then and this is my look for today. Except for where I messed up down here, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna use the Elf Set and Miss and just now I would have used this already, but I told you since I'm getting old, I'll probably forget. Well, not that I probably forget. I do forget <laughs> all things. And this is my look here. And I'm going to clean my brushes and wipe my nose now. Because I told you, every time I do a video, my nose always runs. Which makeup am I allergic to? I don't know, but it's something I'm allergic to. So let me just go ahead and wipe my nose. Okay, cute people. This is my look. I don't have my glasses on, so I really can't see how it really, really looks, but hopefully it looks good. These lashes are starting to get on my nerves because I haven't worn lashes in so long. So I'm going to end this video now because I have things to do, places to be, places I'm not going to get to, and things I'm not going to do. But I want you guys to thumbs up my video just for the effort because Lord knows Playing makeup is a fun. Doing it in front of a camera is just as fun. And having you guys look at everything is fun also. So give an old lady a thumbs up for her effort. And being that she really can't see like right now. And I'm going to put my glasses on. But these lashes will probably hit the glasses. Let's see. Okay. So here I am. This is me. Hopefully I look good. Hopefully I look fine. Hopefully I look okay and my lashes are hitting the glasses. So let me move them up a little bit so I can still see. But again, this is my look. Yes, just playing in makeup and having fun. And I sure did have a lot of fun, y'all. I will be back with another makeup look, but this is the look. And you know what? Even though I didn't think I was going to like this palette, I like it because that gold is like dynamite. Dynamite. I done knocked it all out of the way, but I'm going to do something else with this palette. Just one more time. Just one more time before I move on to other, the other 30 or 40 ones that I've bought and showed you guys and never did anything. But like I said, I'm going to end this video. Give me a thumbs up for effort. Subscribe to my channel just to have fun. Just to have fun. And I'm glad you stopped by to watch this video. And hopefully I will see you in the next. Bye. Oh, share and spread love. How can I forget? It's Sunday. Do it.